Oh man, it's been a while since the last time we spoke. I've caught a lot of fish. I've caught some nice fish actually, but the videos weren't turning out great. The recording quality wasn't great. I apologize it's taking me forever to get this video out, guys. I've just been struggling super hard to get out and fish. I've been working a lot. And it's just been a real struggle for me to get some content for you guys. But recently, for my girlfriend's birthday, we went on a trip to Costa Rica. And we only spent about four days there. Here goes part one. It's the first two days of me fishing there. It was a blast, guys. Just check it out. Caught some great fish. Enjoy. That's the Pacific Ocean. I've never actually been outside the country, so this is all new to me, man. We just caught a taxi, and we're about to go to the beach, so I'm gonna throw my spoons at the beach and try to get to the mouth of Rio Utiva. Ubita, I can't remember what this place is called. And see if I can get a couple fish. Alright guys, we made it to the beach. But this is where the river empties into the ocean. I've never caught a fish in a surf with a lure. Alright, so... We're walking into this little creek that goes back into the river. See if I can't get in my first species of Costa Rica, finally. It's been a pretty failed day as far as fishing goes. I saw a couple micro fish, but they wouldn't bite what I had going on. I tied on a micro rig. There's a bunch of little fish right there. Okay, now here's where the fish are. Let's see if I can find a micro fish real fast so I can use this rig. Okay, oh, none of these micro fish will bite this. That's it, I'm done with this. Huh? You did? Okay. Like you're hungry or like it's like pain? Oh God. <gasps> I got a goby. I got a fucking goby. Guys, I got a goby. Finally, first species. I had to switch to the jig before I finally got a fish. It's in my shirt. Get a picture of him in the photo tank here. Mm -hmm. Interesting specimen. There he is, guys. My first Costa Rican fish. Some kind of goby. Get a quick picture of him. And a release. Goby on the jig. Okay, guys. Well, I accidentally just released the goby right here, but it's okay. I'll get another one. Didn't take long with the jig. Okay, guys. So, I caught one goby. There's like this damn killifish that's playing with my life. I can't get him on a jig. He just like won't touch it. I found some more and I was fishing for him over here. And I was throwing a jig on a bobber and I saw like a six, seven inch fish come up and whack it. Let's see if I can catch one of these minnows here. These fish are insane. Finally. This was like seriously one of the hardest microfish to catch in the world. What is it? I don't know. Looks like some kind of gambusia. It's pretty though. Mm -hmm. It was literally the worst microfishing session ever. This wasn't even that one. 
There's like 500 of those over there too, but I gave up on those idiots. Any ideas? It is day two. It has been a struggle, man. The mountain stream had nothing the first time. The coastal tidal creek had a lot of fish to offer, but they were so finicky and weird, man. They wouldn't stick to my hook. And they wouldn't bite. They were just nibbling the tip, as Leo says. But we're about to go down to this other portion of the waterfall in the mountain creek. It's gonna be crazy. Costa Rican mountain stream, multi-species, micro, whatever. All right, let's do it. The way out. I can't stop, I got too much equipment. Somehow my GoPro battery died even though I was charging it. It was like dead the second I opened it. So I'm already on my happy share up batteries. <laughs> Catch me a mountain mullet. Mm -hmm. Just look at that guys. That's amazing, look at that. Gotta be something in there, something insane. Thank you. Oh, we're here, y'all. Oh yeah, deep pools. Deep pools. Come on, species, so let's get it. If I catch anything, it'll be worth it. I mean, it'll be worth it regardless, because it's pretty. It's gonna be pretty loud down there, though. Oh, wow. Well, look, this is where I want to fish. And it seems like the only way you can get down there is right here. It's completely unsafe. It looks like treacherous. That's how I do it in photo suit. You just get low. That's all you gotta do. This is insanity, man. Wouldn't recommend it. I said I wouldn't recommend coming down here. This is crazy, guys. All right. I'm not gonna catch anything. Trash. Big, big, big trash. All right. Because there's a lot of broken wood in the Take your time and then do the bend down. What? I was thinking about it, should I? I really don't know, babe. I'm putting it on this. Add some scent. All right, guys. I got a sausage tip spoon.
I got a bite. guys my first fish of the waterfall so excited let me get him a revive real quick I don't want to release him but I'm recording just in case I accidentally do he's really strong he's really strong all right guys that's it I gotta go now the waterfall is closing I'll identify this fish later that was awesome There's a puppy behind you, babe. Eat the sausage, Bubba. Oh. There you go, good boy. It's good, isn't it? Little oh, cutie. No, you're gonna fall. <laughs> Stay, I gotta go fishing. They're hitting it, babe, but I can't hook up. Waiting for a ride. We made it. 6.30. Bye, puppy. Hola, amigo. Hola. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed part one of my Costa Rica series. We caught species number 52, Estuarine frilfin. Species number 53, Barred Live Bearer. And species number 54, which was close relative to a machaca. That's why it only had the scientific name posted. That's actually going to be the first fish on my life list that is just going to be a scientific name because it does not have a common name. But it's a close relative to a machaca. Anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Stay tuned for part two coming up. It's going to be my last day fishing in Costa Rica. And it should be just one fishing session instead of two different days in one video. So stay tuned for more content. The weather is dropping. I'm getting ready to target some new species locally and start doing a little traveling around Florida and looking for new fish. So I apologize again for the slump. See you guys next time.